everybody, it is Kehlani and welcome back to my book corner. Today we are going to be talking about books that are going to be coming out in May, next month, I think is May, if I remember correctly. We're not sure. Um, but we have quite a few coming out. Let me make sure this focuses on my face. Okay. Um, so we have quite a few books coming out in May, uh, so I'm going to kind of just snap right through them. Um, they are mostly contemporary. We have a little bit of YA contemporary, we have a little bit of adult contemporary, a little bit of romance, I think one fantasy. So uh, those are the ones that we're looking at today. So if you don't want to hear about contemporary, this is probably not the video for you. Um, but the first one we have coming out on the 5th is A Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. And I have not read anything by Elizabeth Acevedo yet, but there are a lot of her books on my TBR, so this one will be have company. Um, and this one is about two girls. They live in very different places. One lives in the Dominican Republic and one lives in New York. And what they have in common is the same father, but neither know about the other until their father's plane crashes and their world is kind of turned upside down. And I think it's about them connecting and becoming sisters and seeing where the future goes and what their future means for them now that they've come to this place. So that one comes out on the 5th. The next one we have coming out on the 5th is All Adults Here by Emma Straub and this one is also a contemporary and it follows a woman who is much older in her life. Her name is Astrid and she is kind of reminiscing about possibly the miss, uh, misfalls that she had raising her children and what led them to the way they're acting now. She has a daughter who's pregnant intentionally but her daughter's kind of childish. She has a son who is currently making mistakes she believes with her ch or his children and then she has another son who kind of is doing his own thing but is very stressed I believe is how it was described in the um, synopsis. So that one is coming out on the 5th as well and it's kind of about reconnecting I think and just uh, accepting people as they are. The next one we have is another YA contemporary. It is um, Four Days of You and Me and I believe it's going to be following um, these two characters over four years uh, on a four-day school trip and kind of seeing how their relationship evolves within those four days over those four years. It says their first one is going from enemies to friends and then there's all the stuff that happens in between them. They have relationships with not each other. They have breakups. They have uh, family drama. So it's just, I believe, following them on those four days and they will, we'll see what happens. So the next one we have also coming out on the 5th is Last Girls. And this is by Demetra Brodsky. And this is another YA contemporary and it's following four girls that live on a compound in Washington State and they are taught how to survive and like survival skills and then something happens in the compound that makes the girls have to rely on the skills that they have learned. I don't know what happens, obviously, have not read it, so I'm also excited to get into that one. Felix Ever After is our next book and it is an LGBT YA contemporary and it is about a boy named Felix and he has never been in love and he doesn't know why he's never been in love but there are some things he believes are stacked up against him regarding his identity which he is very comfortable with it says but he thinks that maybe all of these things added together are affecting his compatibility to being able to find love. So there is that one, and that one is by Kaysen Callender. I believe that is how you pronounce their first name. Not positive, so sorry about that. So on the 7th, we have one book coming out, and that is Burn by Patrick Ness. Uh, it is a YA fantasy, but I really don't know what it's about. It's uh, The quickest synopsis was a dragon, deadly assassin, a cult of dragon worshippers, and... That all just sounds like a lot of fun. So I put that one in my May releases. I know that it's set in a parallel universe to this world. So there are things that are similar, but they also have dragons. And I think she gets thrown into this world by the end of the book, according to what I believe the synopsis was trying to tell me. 
It is my only fantasy this month, and it's a low fantasy, so it's not really, it's not high fantasy. I think I'm going to be taking a break from high fantasy just because I feel kind of burnt out on it. So we're going to be doing low fantasies and contemporary for right now. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm leaning toward. But like I said, that one is Burn by Patrick Ness, and it comes out on the 7th. And on the 12th, we have three books coming out. The first one would be The Boy in the Red Dress, which is another LGBT. Um, it's historical fiction mystery. The year is 1929, and they are at a jazz swing club. And their po most popular attraction to the swing club is Marion, and uh, they are the boy in the red dress. And some things happen where Marion is accused of killing someone and the main character Millie is determined to find out who the actual killer is if it was Marion or if it was someone else and I don't know it just sounded interesting I love um historical fiction first of all and that little bit of twist of a thriller or mystery in there sounds like a good time so that was the first one coming out on the 12th so the next one we have coming out on the 12th is The Trouble with Hating You and this is a romance and this one is about a woman named Libby, and she uh, is happy with being single, but her parents are not happy that she's single, and they set her up on this kind of like blind group date. And once she realizes kind of what's going on, she gets out as quickly as possible. And then the man that she is put on a date with ends up being someone she has to work with at work. Um, he is a lawyer who's come to save her small business and they have to go through um, just being able to get past the awkwardness of being on that date that she kind of just like ditched on. So it goes from office banter to a late night chats and she has to decide if this is someone she can see herself really giving herself over to or if it's just something that's kind of fleeting. Um, but that one always sounds good. I love a, well they're not really enemies, but not well known. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, not friends to friends to lovers. There we go. Um, and then the next one we have is The Fascinators, which actually is a YA fantasy, but again it is a low fantasy. It is a town where magic is frowned upon and the main boy Sam needs or Sam and his friends, James and Dahlia, um, they formed a magic group at their school and it's their senior year and the group that brought them all together is now kind of like splintering and things are happening in their real life and so the one thing that kind of brought them together is now tearing them apart. Um, I've heard really good things about this from other authors, so I'm pretty excited to be, or to at least be looking into it. Um, but yeah, that one is the last one that comes out on the 12th. And then on the 14th, we have one thing coming out, and that is Someday in Paris, and this is a historical fiction romance. And this one's really interesting because it is about two characters who meet, but the lights are kind of off, or like the power's out or something, and they don't ever see each other, they only talk, so they only know each other's voices. And then they are taken apart um, just after the event, and they're both kind of like searching for each other, but they've both kind of given up hope. And then they run into each other again, but have no idea who the other person is because enough time has passed or their voices have changed and they never saw each other's faces. So they don't know who they're really looking for. And so I just love that. Isn't that just like such a good hope, like story? Uh, I'm just like so excited for that. And the last day we have books coming out is the 26th. And the first one on the 26th is Something to Talk About, which is another LGBT romance. This is a female-female romance. And it is about Jo, who is a Hollywood powerhouse, is what they called her. And uh, her and her sister, her and her assistant are photographed um, coming out of somewhere and a rumor starts that they're actually together and they have to actually be around each other quite a bit because of a new release that's coming out for Joe. And as they start to hang out, the possibility of an actual romance starts to happen and so they have to discover what's going on there and that is another one coming out. Um, the next one is Stay Gold and this is another YA contemporary 
And this one is about Pony, who is trying his his best to not get attention at his new school because when he came out as trans at his last school, the bullying became quite a bit for him. So at this new school, he is trying to stay under the radar and he unfortunately catches the attention of one of the cheerleaders. Her name is Georgia and Georgia is trying to not get in a relationship this year. She's not sure she even wants to be a cheerleader anymore. So it's kind of about them coming together and finding out if they like each other. And it's obviously dealing with trans um, conversations and about someone who doesn't know of themselves or consider themselves anything other than straight. And then they obviously start a relationship with a trans person and kind of coming to terms with that type of identity. And I think that is a very interesting conversation. So I'm looking forward to finding out more about the emotions that go along with that. And the last book that we're going to talk about that comes out in May is The Jane Austen Society. And this is about a group of people who live in the town where Jane Austen finished her life. And it, they kind of come together because something has threatened the um, like Jane Austen's memory. And so they're coming together to hopefully keep it a strong memory and I'm not really sure. It's definitely about relationships with different townspeople. Um, it says there's a doctor, a young widow, and a laborer, and a movie star. So obviously connections and that kind of stuff. But yeah, those are all the movies coming out in May. And hopefully I am able to pick up a few. We will see. I did pretty good last month getting quite a few of the books I wanted. So We'll see. But these are all of the books. Hopefully there was something there that sounded interesting to you and I will see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff and uh, bye!